Good afternoon. I know it's normally good morning that I do, but it is the afternoon. I am in an area near to York, so 15 miles north of it in North Yorkshire, in an area called the Howardian Hills, and it is classed as an area of outstanding natural beauty. So I have gone on to the Castle Howard website, which is where I am, and looked at walks in the area. And the first one that came up was a walk around the Castle Howard estate. It was five miles long, but I've added an extra mile and I've even downloaded the map. So I'm gonna show you what this walk looks like in case you want to do it yourself or if you're just curious what this area looks like. It does look really good. It looks like there's gonna be a beautiful lake that I pass, um, some old kind of buildings, a lovely little village, a molosseum, and a few other little things along the way. I can't wait to show you. Let me show you this map and let's get walking. Here is the map that I have printed off. So I am here at the car park and I'm going to be road walking a little bit to start with past the Abelix and up to an area here where I'll be turning right into the village of Conisthorpe. But I should hopefully have some wonderful views of the Great Lake which is over here. And then I'll be going past through Conisthorpe which is a small village all the way down here through some wooded areas over to Bog Hall which is some kind of farm buildings alongside a beck and then joining on to here coming along around here on Centenary Way and then visiting hopefully going down here which is my additional route to have a look at the temple and also over at the Molosseum and then I'll be retracing my steps back down here going over and having a look at the pyramid walking back the tree way <laughs> along here and then back a short road walk to the start point and that official route is five miles but with this additional bit here I'll be turning right off the track and walking up there over here and then back again which is an additional mile.
was hoping to find a nice picnic bench, a bench, or just anywhere to sit really. But so far there hasn't been anywhere. So when I get hungry, <laughs> I need to eat. There is no messing about. I'm currently eating. I've actually eaten most of it already. I do apologize, I forgot to show you. But there is still some left. It is a falafel and spinach sandwich. So it is a tortilla wrap, tomato and basil. And there's some carrot in there, a little bit of mango chutney. And it's very nice, just what I needed. I'm starving. I have got to that point on the map where I am going to be adding on my extra mile. So I'm going to be going half a mile along this track over a bridge and hopefully get to the Molosseum and then come back again, hence the extra mile. And then I shall be following the road up there to the pyramid. I am afraid my exploration did not go as planned. <laughs> so I came over the bridge and decided to head to the Molosseum to show you that. However, I got to this fence along here and right there, there was a sign saying no public footpath. So I thought, well, I can't walk up it. It says no public footpath. I don't want to trespass. So I walked down to the bottom of the field to try and get a zoom in for you so you could see what it was. And then I thought, well, I'll go and visit the temple, which is at the other side. And I saw a nice little line in the field, you know, where people have walked previously. However, <laughs> note this sign, bull in field. And I thought, oh, it's be all right. Can't see any bulls. <laughs> It'll be fine. Anyway, got halfway up here. And I don't know if you can see here, but that, that's the temple there, by the way. I don't know if you can see here, but there is a very big looks like a bull, could be a cow there, and two little calves, which again, not too bad, I'm on my own, I'm not making much noise, haven't got a dog loose or anything like that. But then a family came along a footpath to the temple with a dog, barking like anything. The cows or the bull starts making a load of racket. So I decide that it's best to just turn around, come back to the safety of the gate and get on this side of it and I will leave the temple for another time. Or if you want to see the temple, come and look at it yourself. But I hope you don't mind. I have decided not to film the temple and go up to it. So I am gonna head back over this bridge, which gave me wonderful views actually, finally, of Castle Howard itself. So let me just walk back up to the area where you're gonna be able to see it and I can turn around and have it in the background. So there we go, there's Castle Howard. And it has, it, obviously it's called Castle Howard. It's not a fortified structure, it's a stately home. The construction of it actually took over a hundred years. It started in 1699, wasn't finished till the early 1800s, but then it was open to the public in 1952. And it is owned by a couple who obviously let people go in and visit it. But it's quite pricey. <laughs> Being a Yorkshire lass that I am, I think it was 27 pounds to go and visit the house and the gardens and if you wanted a tour it was over 40 pounds um so i thought i'd pass <laughs> i've seen pictures on the website maybe another time i will go there but i just thought a nice walk around it would be fine for now
am now at the end of my walk around the Castle Howard area and it was a very pleasant walk indeed. I really enjoyed it. There were elements of it, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit underwhelmed over. When I set off, I did not like the road walk at the beginning. It was about a mile, mile and a half, a very fast moving traffic and you've got a narrow area to be able to get onto the verge on some of the sections. So I didn't like that. And also, I was really disappointed. I didn't get to see these great expanse views of the Great Lake that I thought I'd get. When you look at the map and the way that the route went round it, I expected to be able to see it and also have closer views of Castle Howard itself. So I was a little disappointed with that. And also not being able to go up to the Molosseum because that was all private and then also not being able to go anywhere near the pyramid. So yeah, just be aware of that if you come in here. It is private property, I suppose, after all. It is open to the public, but people do still live here, even though it is managed by people for people to come and view. So just take that into account if you do decide to do this walk. You won't be able to get up close to everything. But there was a lot of wonderful things as well along the walk. Having a look at the views over the Hawardian Hills was really nice and a day like this as well you can't go wrong walking through the little areas of woodland and seeing nature seeing all the spring flowers there was a lot to enjoy on the walk and it was about six and a half miles in total that's what my GPS told me at the end <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please consider subscribing and liking it and also I'm over on Patreon if you want even more content and that really helps support this channel. I really appreciate all the patrons over there. Without them I would not still be doing videos here on YouTube so thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it but if you do want to join it starts from as little as £3 a month. You're not tied in and it really does help me out. But if you've enjoyed this video there will also be another video that I think you'll like. I will put it here for you so check that out next and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye!